Hello and welcome to my FireMonkey video blog. Today I want you to show how easy it is to create uh, with FireMonkey a memo with line numbers. At first I explain a little bit uh, about the memo and after that I show you how you can integrate your frames uh, into the tool palette. But now let's start and uh, let's or add the frame to the project. Once inserted, you can use the frame or selection frame and insert it here. And then select the frame memo line count. So let's start and run it to see how it looks. So when we insert here text and additional lines, you see that the line the lines will be numbers on the left. And um, yeah, and here at the bottom you can see the line number and the column. And if you move uh, the cursor to an uh, text to the text, then you will have also the charm. And the line numbers are only displayed if uh, word prep is uh, off. So, and let's see, um, let's have a look to see how it is done. So, therefore, we look also into the structure. So, here's the um, text memo. And on the left side, we have this additional memo where the line numbers uh, are displaced and we have also a color line that is um, also a rectangle um, that is uh, displayed uh, to um, highlight the current uh, line. And um, on the bottom we have a rectangle where the checkbox are, um, is seated and uh, additional infos about char, column and the row position. And um, when we have a look in the events, so we have to look, of course, into the uh, frame component itself. And um, we can see um, the change tracking event and the viewport change um, event. And let's have a look first in the viewport change event. So um, when the viewport changes for the uh, memo, then also the memo lines is adjusted so that they will have the same offset for the position. And in the tracking event, um, if it's not yet created, we created a timer. We have a look if the line number memo has not the same um, line numbers. We add or remove uh, the lines so that they are uh, have the same line numbers. In the timer event, um, we display the information about the line numbers and the column and the current char number that is displayed and um, in change tracking I've just uh, covered and we have um, also the text painting event then we adjust the um, position of the color line yeah that's all this um, unit has uh, around about 150 lines of source uh, that is uh, very short and um, I told you in the beginning how you can uh, add this to your uh, toolbox. And uh, we do it like the follows. We uh, select the frame itself and click with the right mouse. Add to palette. And um, we can change this name without template, that is not necessary. 
you can create a new um, plat name. I would like to propose Hasta Soft FMX frames. So when there will be more in the future, and you have it all on one place, and you can also add a uh, um, good uh, image for it and set OK. So and now we close it all and when we now um, we create a new multi-device application, an empty one, uh, you can go to the two palette and scroll down to Hassasoft MXX frames, select this one and edit and the program knows that the frame itself is missing and said ask should we ask it, edit, said yes and then you have this frame here inside and can work with it. So you can download this frame from my dev page um, site, go to the dev page there uh, to the section downloads and here is the frame memo line count with a short description and a direct uh, download link. That's it. Have fun. Bye bye.